dynamic impingement test is for, uh, again, internal glenoid impingement, which I'll, I'm going to discuss in, at length the pathomechanics of that tomorrow. Um, we take this patient supine for this test, externally rotate in a neutral position, and then uh, we continue to externally rotate and extend the, the humerus back into here, and we're looking for the point where we get this posterior shoulder pain. And we can also apply relocation on this test. Okay? So if we look at it here, it's a, it's a dynamic move. It's a dynamic impingement test. So they're laying down. I've got them 90 degrees here. Externally rotate to here. And now it's an arc. As I, as I bring the arm up into abduction and external rotation, each motion continues to apply. So Mark, why don't you put up lay on the table here? And we'll demonstrate that. Okay. So if I take him in this position, relax. Okay. I take him in this position here. I'm going to externally rotate, but then keep it 90 and then let it drop down and keep going. Anything with that? A little bit. Where? On the back. Okay? And now I'm going to do my relocation here. Any better? Okay? Worse? On? Off? Okay. All right? So you can have some fun with your patients at their expense. Okay? So. What that's telling you is that you're getting that underside of the rotator cuff to pinch against the glenoid labor. Okay? The relocation tells you the instability is what's causing it. And how that happens, we'll talk about tomorrow. 